Did a little bit more research this morning and figured out that I do need to get a little bit more vacuum line because um, the blow off valve, or the bypass valve I guess you would say on this, the OEM bypass valve does need a vacuum line. And as well as the, where is it, where is it, where is it, the wastegates on the turbos, this is a twin turbo so the wastegate also needs a nice fat vacuum line so we're gonna have to both wastegates I don't know where the other one is I can't find it right now but both of those need a vacuum line so we're gonna have to pick up some more stuff and I do still need a new serpentine belt so I think we might try and get that today but um, right now we still have to if you saw yesterday's video I have to kind of put this build on pause for a couple of days because I have a track event with the Miata that I need to get and I need a bunch of stuff because if you guys don't recall my Miata did catch on fire Rest in peace. But we have a new battery today. You know what? Let's just get it opened up for you. Let's see how it is. Oh, yeah. Here's the mount. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, this is so itty bitty. It's so teeny tiny, dude. This is my new battery. <laughs> dude, the world's tiniest battery. This is amazing. This is an actual actual race car mod. And I know that that word gets tossed around a lot. But this is like a re legitimate, like, this is a big deal. In fact, I'm actually not going to take it out of the box just yet. But that is my new battery for my Miata, and I could not be more excited. And this is the mount to make sure that it stays flat into the, you know what? I'll just explain on how everything's going to be mounted later on. And again, I'm not sponsored by any of this stuff. As I explained in yesterday's video, I'm very particular about the Miata. I don't really take product sponsorships for that car because I like to do the best stuff that I can to it. And I don't want to be swayed. I don't want you guys to sway me. So glad I did not have to walk all the way here. Look at this. Here we go. Here's the massive parking lot that I had to park my Miata in, but at least it's inside. Oh, I forgot my steering wheel again. Rest in peace. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> I always forget my steering wheel. You, you would almost think I'm doing it on purpose for comment, just, just to be funny. But let me tell you what, it's not funny. Steering this thing with, with just your hand, like th this hurts. It's not funny. Um, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't install my, that my e-brake doesn't actually work right now, so I actually have to turn my car off and put it in gear. When we installed my, my new brakes yesterday, just to make a long story short, in the Miata's brakes, you have to actually manually recompress the rear brake piston, and I didn't do it enough, so now the rear brakes literally don't even work. I'm a race car, a race car, a race car, he's a race car, a race car. I am so glad we're getting rid of this super janky, disgusting battery setup. You know what, it's actually done a pretty good job of not moving. But that, you know what, I don't really care. It's time, it's time. My dad owns his own shop and uh, he texted me and he let me know that he would like to help me install his battery today because we do actually have to remake part of the harness. And so that's where we're going to go today. We're gonna to visit Daddy-O and we're gonna get this thing done correctly. Plus I have a really fat Lexus in the middle of my garage. I don't have very much space. Daddy -o. I was gonna do a donut to let them know we're here, but there's too many rocks. I don't wanna hit anybody's car. Actually, let's do a little bit of a burnout. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, I don't know. So that's what we're gonna have to figure out. I don't know where I wanna mount the battery. I've seen somebody mount it right here. I could also try and mount the battery right here too. I, I, I don't know, it's whatever we can figure out. I think it's probably best if we just did the original location though. But that's for the battery itself. That's okay. to connect it to the battery. Okay. So it's got a little bit different connections there, but I'm just glad we're taking across it, taking apart this. <laughs> it works though. <laughs> You guys don't remember this is the um rest in peace buddy this is the battery this is it get this cleaned out i think i'm just gonna go ahead and rip this out of here i don't even need this anymore <clears throat> oh my dude weight reduction let's go all right 
This looks, this is starting to look like a race car, brothers. I was thinking about maybe putting the battery in here, but because of the factory like spare tire location, we might just have to go ahead and extend the harness a bit and put it right here. Actually, we might be able to mount it without, um, actually no, we are gonna have to cut into that harness a bit. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the battery in the stock location and then just bolt it down and with this little cover that we got right here. I'll probably put it like right here. Probably about as good as it's gonna get. Or we can maybe do, maybe like that. As long as it doesn't catch on fire, that's really all I care about. Does it matter which is top or bottom? Uh, I don't I don't know. Probably. I would say this side needs to be top up. Actually, I have a picture of it on my phone. There's your positive right there. Yeah, I mean, and then the negative literally doesn't even. I mean, we can. This right here we need to fix because this, this yeah. needs to be grounded to your frame still. Sure. So, but I've got an idea for that. All right. Buy some step bits. It's a must for every toolbox. You heard it, you heard it from dad. If there's anybody that's qualified to tell you it's a dad. Yeah. Because it's in an angle, but. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's literally right on the corner of it. <laughs> oh, this old mount. There you go. Just hit the tire. Bad meme, Dad. Come on. Wow. Like a glove. <laughs> nice. So we're gonna end up mounting it upside down so that the terminals, or the connectors, whatever it is, are not close to the frame of the body of the car. And then i put this little guy right here. What you think of that? All right. She's all lined up. Got it. Okay. The good news is we actually can go ahead and use the positive, the, the, the connection that I actually made myself at my house actually fits just fine on this. Um, the, not bad news, but what we have to do for the negative, since it got burned up, I don't want to use this anymore. We're going to have to cut it in half somewhere. We're going to have to put a ground connector which that's what this is right here. We're gonna have to put a ground connector somewhere so it, it can, uh, can ground to the chassis somehow. And then we're gonna probably end up doing it like this, hooking it up like that. This is actually really exciting. Like this is really dope. As I have a functioning battery that's not gonna blow up on me at the racetrack. Dude, this is this is like some serious race car stuff, dude. Like just think of this, look at this. Like, uh. Oh, bro, what you got on that hood, bro? Oh my god, bro, what that's, that's a freaking battery, bro? Are you doing, bro, you, are you trying to race, bro? Oh my god. We're gonna make one loop with two cables and it's gonna go to your ground. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna splice this into the original harness. Yeah. And then, oh, you're gonna this make a one, separate ground. This one will ground to your frame again. Oh, that's Because your old, your old one had this. Yeah. Last time I did an autocross, I made the mistake of going into the street modified class which is for cars with slicks and like four or 500 horsepower, but I didn't lose. But I got I, I actually put the, I, I'm in the right class this time. I'm actually gonna keep this to remember the time I freaking caught on fire. Wow. Uh oh. Now it's stuck. I got a little beefy. You got a little excited for the camera? No. <laughs> nice. Now we don't want this thing slipping out when I start peaching it. Watch your head. I bonked my head on that one time and it's not not fun. Now we got a functional cable. What we're gonna do is you get some old fuel line. We're gonna put this fuel line. We don't have any shrink wraps. So we're gonna put some oil on that and just actually run the fuel line over that so it doesn't come apart. This is better than shrink wrap right there, boys. <laughs> there you go. How about that? I can run this right there. I think that'd be good, yeah. Or I mean, if what if we hold it, what if we mount it from like up top and we mount it downwards? Yeah. Okay. 
Do you remember where the... That it was right to here. Or one of the... Actually, it's right to there. Is yeah. that got the Oh, yeah. Do you got the nut? Mm, no. Don't have the nut. Don't have the nut. Now, dad advice of the day is if, when, if you're grounding something to a frame, make sure there's no paint on it. I was not aware of that. Now you know. I taught you something. Your dad taught you something today, boys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if this works. <gasps> no way. There it is. There it is. All right, looks like we can actually just use one of these extra ones. I guess, um, you wanna see if it's charged? Try and turn it on? Let's hope this works. I don't know why it wouldn't, but there it is. Got it. I'm gonna fire it up so it can charge. <laughs> First try? Yeah, I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the alternator charge it a little bit, make sure it's actually got full voltage. Nice, dude. You hear that, Texas SCCA? You're not gonna stop me from doing it at this time. I'm coming for you. Say hello to the new, that is so good. They're gonna look at this and be like, mm, damn, bro, this, this kid know what he's doing. He's a race car driver, bro. We ain't gonna stop him from doing autocross, bro. I'm like, go ahead. Yeah, you can keep this if you want. <laughs> yeah. Dang, look at this race car, dude. I love this car. I love this car. Dude, it's freaking puking again. It's, my car does this thing where it just pukes. Maybe it's because it's got no cats. Maybe because it's oil and the, and the engine's tired. Maybe it's just time for an engine swap. I don't know. Thank you, Padre, for your help. Let's get back to the house because we got a lot more to do. There's only one way to test whether the battery is good enough or not, and that is to drive it like a maniac. So we're about to do that. But I also just want to point out and say that it's really crazy and wild to think that only my front brakes are working right now. Like literally, I don't even think my rear pads are touching my rear rotors. And my stopping power is just like, oh my God, I just turned my wipers on and like almost lost my camera. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> the stopping power is good in this car. I can't wait. I'm gonna have to get them bedded, maybe in a couple days. But I love these new brakes, dude. This car is amazing. Here we go, here we go. Love this car now these tires are warm and this car's got some grip oh my god <laughs> I, love this car. I wish you guys could share just I wish you guys could drive my Miata because this car despite how much you guys absolutely might hate me out there and think that I can't build a car but damn I wish you guys could drive this car sometimes because it's so good it's so good oh my god I have a battery that means I can jump it again let's go <laughs> oh my god, we lost my parking spot. So there's one of the massive parking parking lots that's in my neighborhood. There might be one other spot open. If there's a spot open, I'm gonna freaking I'm gonna poop my pants. There's a spot open! Yes! Let's go! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's actually a spot open. There is actually a spot open. What is this? Oh. You got stuff? Got stuff. Nice. So we got this from O'Reilly's, we're all good there, and we UPS just popped by. That looks like more stuff. <gasps> that's that's, that's gotta be my over, uh, that's, yeah, that's gotta be my um, my power steering reservoir. We can, uh, we can mount I that today. I love that cruise fit Mrs. Shanks. Mrs. Shanks got a new car part today for her SC300. Um, we now have to figure out a place to mount the power steering fluid reservoir. Actually, I think we're gonna mount it right here. It's actually threaded, that's nice. Threw this on the floor, I actually did film me. Okay, how do we get into this bag? I did actually film my trip to the store, but it was just a lot of talking. Um, I showed you guys, I tried to install a serpentine belt the other day, and it wasn't quite the right size. So I went ahead, the effective length of the other one was like 73.9 inches, this one is 75 inches and I'm hoping that that's just enough. If not, I'll get another step up another day, but I'm literally just gonna keep going up in small increments um, to get the right belt. Okay, I think this is the power steering. This nice box, Mishimoto 
power steering reservoir tank. Very nice. Great success. This is nice. Oh, there's a, okay, there actually is a mounting bracket in here. Dagnabbit, don't make freaking Trailer Tom come out here and start yelling at people. I can't freaking get this thing out. Dude, it looks like an alien. This is dope. I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount it. I think I should be able to do it over here, maybe. I would like to be able to do it like right here, um, but that might not happen. I, don't, I would like to be able to mount it right here in that little hole, but I'm not sure that's gonna work. Is there, oh, there actually is a little hole. There's actually a couple little holes drilled out right here on the side. I might be able to try and figure that out. All right, brothers, gotta run another vacuum line from the power steering as well. I completely forgot about that, but we got it mounted. That is a nice little, um, nice little, nice little boy over here. I really just don't want to have to go back and explain to him what effective length means again. So I just really hoping that this is the right size. Well, I just realized I had my mic off that whole time. I might need something with an effective length that's like a, a, a 0.1 inches small. I don't really think this is that much of, usually if you can give it a 90 degrees of play, I, this is a pretty good amount of play, but like I'm sitting here trying to like, I'm yank, trying to yank it off right now and it's not coming off. So um, it's kind of like right on the border. If it doesn't work, it, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's got some pretty solid tension on there. So I don't know. I think we should be okay though. I should be getting a lot more parts for this very, very, very soon. But like I said yesterday, I'm kind of pausing, I'm kind of pausing and delaying the build on this just so I can make sure I make the autocross. The uh, battery really was the last thing I needed to do. I need to adjust the brakes tomorrow, but I'm doing another super race car mod, like a, a serious race car mod tomorrow. So make sure that you watch that video. It's gonna be awesome. I love doing tutorials and how to's and I, I just love working on cars. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'm having fun building this car and figuring out a lot of things because you guys got to realize I actually don't know what I'm doing a lot of these times. And I know a lot of people make fun of me for that. And a lot of people actually like, they think that they're insulting me by saying I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. And that's the fun of it. That's why I have a YouTube channel because I really don't know how to do this. And it's fun and it's a nice experience for me. And someday I will know how to do it. And I'm sharing that experience, that, that learning curve um, all these frustrations with you and it's really awesome that I'm able to do that. Thank you guys for watching. Prepare yourself, prepare your bodies for more crazy stuff with the Lexus and with the Miata. Peace out and be victorious. Bro, shoot, bro. You know that drill, bro. I need you, what I need you to do is I need you to click on one of them videos right there in front of your face. Yeah. Yeah, put those videos right there. You can actually click on them and you can keep watching more videos. You won't do it. You won't do it. You won't do it.